Hey guys, it's Janixa and welcome to another nail lacquer therapy session. Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at the latest collection from Colores de Carol. This is the Daughter of the Sea collection and in case you can't tell by that title, it is a mermaid theme collection. There are six gorgeous polishes here and Carolina did send these to me in PR to review for you so thank you very much to Carolina for sending these my way. Like I said six beautiful polishes to look at. There is also a PR collection which I will show you at the end but for now let's go ahead and get right into the swatches. All right first up we have Siren Song and this is a reddish violet with Aurora Shimmer green reflective glitter, chameleon glitter, and shifting slices. So this one is really, really beautiful, you guys. The formula is very easy to work with. It doesn't feel too sandy or chunky or anything like that, like some reflectives can be. I got full opacity in two coats. Keep in mind that this one is going to be difficult to remove. There's a lot of glitter in here, so yes, plan accordingly. But the formula is beautiful. The polish itself is gorgeous. Look at how it shines. Ugh, so beautiful. Next up, we've got Scales of Beauty, and this one is a Shifting Shimmery Gold Holographic Flakies and UCC Flakes. This one is absolutely stunning. Now, this one probably won't 100% cover your nail line, but the flakes will definitely distract from your nail line, so I don't see you needing more than two or three coats depending on your application and your nail length. This one glows on the nails. The formula is great, easy to work with, and it's not going to be difficult to remove. Next up we have Sea Glass Shimmer and this one is a white curly with Aurora Shimmer and scattered red to purple to pink color shifting flakes. This one is very sheer on that first coat. I only ended up doing two coats, but then looking back at the footage as I was editing, I thought I definitely should have gone in for a third, but the formula on it is absolutely it, it it's butter it's so good to work with it goes on smoothly so pretty but I do have some ridges on my nails and I didn't notice it in person but I definitely noticed it afterwards so I feel like a third coat would have benefited my nails for this one Next up, we have Magical Depth, and this is a multi-chrome base loaded with multi-dimensional magnetic effect, chameleon glitter, and turquoise metallic flakes. This one is a beautiful, beautiful metallic, or I'm sorry, not a metallic, magnetic. <laughs> I'm getting the finishes confused here. I will say, though, that swatching or filming a magnetic polish can be a bit of a pain. I only use one magnet this time. There's times where I've used multiple magnets, but I just used one this time and I did my best. <laughs> but the actual polish is very beautiful. Look how gorgeous that is, you guys. I love this one. Formula is good and easy to work with. It's just an all around beautiful polish. Next up, we have Oceanic Treasure, and this is a deep shimmery eggplant purple with mermaid flakes and purple reflective glitter. So this one and the one that we just saw, Magical Depth, they both have like these flakes in it that make it look like a mermaid scales, you know, from her tail. So that's a really, really cool effect and absolutely perfect for a mermaid collection. The formula on this one is very, very good, very easy to work with. It is a reflective. You can see them shine right there in my studio lighting. I love this one. The flakes look gorgeous in it too. And last but not least, we have Azure Dreams, and this is a soft medium blue with red to pink to purple color shifting flakes and light blue reflective glitter. So this one 
goes on a little bit more sheer than the rest. I feel like for this one, you definitely need to go in with a bit of a thicker second coat because that way you're going to avoid a third coat. I did that and this one just looks like the ocean. The ocean on a beautiful sunny day with, you know, the sun reflecting off the water. Oh, it just looks so beautiful. I love it. And the formula was good, easy to work with. This one will be difficult to remove. It is reflective, but oh, it's so beautiful, you guys. And here we have the entire Daughter of the Sea collection. There you have it, guys. The Colores de Carol Daughter of the Sea collection. What did you think of these? Overall, I absolutely love them. They are so beautiful. Colores de Carol does an amazing reflective polish. They are just so easy to work with and I have really, really come to like their reflectives. I promised I would show you the PR collection. So your polishes, if you buy the PR collection, will come in this beautiful like iridescent bag and they will come inside the bag and you will also receive two scrunchies that look like, you know, mermaids. They're iridescent and they have, I think, a mermaid on them. I, I don't have them in front of me because my six-year-old daughter took them as soon as she saw them. She swore that they were sent for her. You know? <laughs> so she got the scrunchies and she also got the stickers. I managed to get one of them. This is one of the stickers so very very cute there's two more i will insert some pictures of them and also some pictures of the scrunchies and then there's one more thing there is a mermaid fin tail keychain which i will also insert pictures of and all of this comes in the pr collection and let me show you the inside of the bag cute little bag kind of like a travel thing for makeup or nail polish I like it a lot it's very very cute so I was really really excited when I got this in the mail each polish in this collection is $12.50 and then for the entire collection I think as a bundle it's $73 but if you want this PR collection then that's going to cost $80 which seven dollars more than the actual collection i think that's an amazing deal the pr packages will be while supplies last so if you're interested in purchasing one for just an extra seven dollars i think that's awesome you're gonna want to be on the website as soon as they launch which is on august 18th i will have the time and everything down in the description box below for you Usually Colores de Carol does their launches around 9 a.m. I believe Eastern Standard Time, but don't quote me on that. Like I said, I will have it all in the description box below for you. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.